Well, hello. Working on the Honda N600 with a motorcycle engine, and I'm doing a little shifter fabrication that I'd like to share with you, if you're so inclined. So um, this project, putting a motorcycle engine into a 1970 Honda N600, has garnered a lot of attention. I get emails almost every day. I think I've inspired a lot of people. A lot of other guys are thinking the same thing as me. Like, how do I do that? What do I do? How do I do it? It's a lot of work. There's no kit for it. You just have to make things work, fabricate them, as they say, and if it doesn't work, you have to improve your design. And that's what I've done here with the shifter. If you can see, this long lever right here is my shifter. And it's uh, it's two piece because I didn't know how I wanted it to angle. I've actually bent it around the e-brake here so I can still use my e-brake, but I wanted it close to my knee. So I've been doing a lot of test fitting, sitting in the car, feet on the pedals, trying to figure out how I'm gonna dance on them. The gas pedal uh, is way high, so don't uh, pay attention to that. But if you look below my right foot there, I'll get a better shot. I just fabricated this rod that runs and shifts the transmission. And I had to decide whether I wanted one back, five forward, or five back, one forward. And I decided to go with one back and five forward. So you would push the stick that way. It, um, you know, wasn't really hard, but it takes some time. I went to Home Depot and I got some quarter inch steel rod. I think it paid $5 for that piece. Then I had to thread the ends, uh, one millimeter by six, normal thread on that end, and then this is reverse thread, so you can use it like a turnbuckle to adjust your linkage and adjust your uh, shifter. And what I did is I just cut off, you can see this piece right here, this chrome piece with the knurling on it, that's actually from the bike. So I used the heim joints here and on the uh, transmission over there, and I set them up so that the the lever goes below the shifter here and above the shifter on the transmission and that gives me the one back five forward. If you reverse that you can have the other shift pattern. So I'm not totally happy with this. There's some rubber bushings here and I don't care for the slop there. So I'm going to maybe space that with polyurethane or maybe even metal on metal. And same thing with the, uh, with the rod. If you really force it like you're going to force it to gear, you can actually bend the rod, and I wasn't expecting that. So I may have to sheath the rod with some tubing or something. That is the theme of fabricating, my friends. When you're putting an engine into a car that never was designed to be there, you have to, you have to learn by trial by fire, I'm afraid. There's no patented recipe. There's no kit. A lot of people have asked me that. Where's the kit? Where can I buy the kit? Well, I'm sorry. There's no kit. You just gotta try things and make them work. All right, thanks for watching and hope to be driving this thing soon.